out. Good morning! It is a beautiful day here in Chicago. A little sunny, a little bright. Uh, all is shiny, all is right. I am Mark Sebastian. This is the Option Pit AM Volatility Report. Well, we had a great webinar uh, yesterday. Uh, you can get a replay of it right on optionpit.com slash events. It is right here. So you can go to using, and with that, you can also see my mine and Andrew's super duper ridiculous Saturday class for $47. Um, it's, uh, the, the, it doesn't get to be a better day. I should, should probably write that it's $47 somewhere right here, shouldn't I? It doesn't say the price. Um, so, uh, you know, it's a pretty good deal. deal. So, uh, t take your chance and uh, enjoy what we are up to. So, on that, you know, I want to wish everybody a wonderful morning and let's get down to business. Well, um, you know, it was, it's hilarious. You get people, why do people pay attention to the evening future session? It just, I mean, the only thing that you should do that, that I would ever look at in terms of the evening future se segment is find right around 7 or 8 o'clock at night it hits the low of the day or the high of the day to sell it and buy the open. Um, I mean, I swear you'd make money uh, you know, over you you would make a de you would it, I bet you it has a positive expectancy. Is all I'm saying. All right, so now here we are today, and um, you know we got the VIX up a little bit with the market pretty flat, and it's this Ebola. Everybody's like, oh, New York Ebola. You know, uh, the guy went to, and worked in Liberia, and that's how he got it. Um. um <clears throat> and, you know, it's just really unbelievable that people are like, oh, my gosh, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> so, you know, I look at what's, what's going on, and I, I say to myself, okay, there is, we've got the market flying around, all right, flying around, daily movement around 28, 29 points a day. We have a VIX that's pointing at 16%. You got people scared of the Cebola thing. You've got, and and yet, you know. So I just think I think Vol is underpriced, and Gamma is cheap. Um, you know, even with the VIX at 16, Gamma is cheap, not expensive because of the movement. Now, obviously today, because I wrote that blog last night, what does that mean? Market's not going to do jack. Um, but I would take that as an opportunity to potentially trade it off something. Um, Mondays have been moved. We really had a trend of moving pretty hard three or four days a week and then having kind of one or two days off. Um, this may be one of those days off. Um, you know, another point I would, I, would, I would make is that yesterday, on top of that um, Ebola, Ebola news, it really, it was odd, happened right as the S&P 500 was touching that 100-day moving average. And so that 100-day moving average may be a bit of a ceiling. All right, there were a lot of people that were bidding that 100-day moving average as soon as the S&P broke it and played that for two years. So don't be surprised if there's some people playing the opposite way. That could create some actual resistance. All right, that's as close to technical analysis you'll ever see me talk about. Um, now, in terms of vol, um, you know, VIX of, uh, you know, the vol is still kind of high, 104 percent. The VIX, while you know, relative to other VIXs, is high. The S and P's are moving around. Um, Amazon, you know, I had a lot of people ask me, what, what, what should I trade on Amazon tomorrow? What would, what does Amazon, is it going to look like tomorrow? And I, you know, I kept telling them, this is a last night's directional trading webinar. I kept telling them, I don't know. I have to see what the volatility does. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I did just say that, which kind of bugs me. Um, so they have tanked this thing, and then they've gone and brought the volatility down to levels that a Amazon really didn't see those vols except for when the VIX was 15, six, you know, 12 and 11. So when the VIX was really low, this is the cheapest we've seen Amazon. So Amazon is one that I would look at 
in terms of what I buy versus sell, I would probably be looking at this as a opportunity to buy options versus sell options. Um, this would not be kind of a but spread. They've taken the vol down, and we've seen multiple times that when they take the vol this much after an earnings, there's sometimes a, a leg down. So some sort of put might actually make sense in a name like Amazon. And um, you know, we saw something similar in uh, Netflix where it drops for a couple days, then maybe a bull play makes some sense. But I think Amazon's going to have the 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 old uh, sell off with vol coming in. Uh, for the next couple of days, which is never a pretty picture for those names. All right, well, um, for the rest of the day, uh, flattish, maybe a little lower. Um, I think the VIX will will probably sit here, maybe come in a little bit, um, but uh, you know that's going to be the big driver. Um, again, uh, you can watch the replay of last night's webinar at optionpit.com slash events, and uh, for Everybody, I am Mark Sebastian. This was the AM Volatility Report. If you have questions, you can email me, marketoption.com. You can call me, 888-TRADE-01. Have a good one.